Okay, so right off the hop, before we get started, I am just gonna come out and say it. I do not like this style of horror movie, but. Hey guys, welcome to Happy Wax TV. I'm gonna kind of keep this one short, I hope. Um, it's one of these movies where you just kind of have to let it unfold in front of you. Uh, what I was getting at, uh, in the opening there is I don't like this style of horror movie. It's probably my least favorite style where you get like a family or a couple in this case um, and, and you know, something is happening to one person but for the entirety of the movie, none of the other family members see it until the end and then they think that one family member is either lying or seeking attention or going crazy and it's just it's i just it drives me fucking insane and a lot of movies do it and i just i, I just don't like it i i don't like this style of movie but i'll tell you the the payoff at the end okay and i i don't want to give spoilers for it but you know there is a payoff obviously it's got a fucking ending but the payoff at the end as short as it is in my eyes was worth it. In fact, I wish, I wish, like I, I wanted to see more of it, okay? And I wanted to see more, knowing what happens at the end, I wanted to see a little more in depth of this town that they move into. Let me read you the synopsis really quick. A same-sex couple uh, moved to a small town to enjoy a better quality of life and raise their daughter with strong social values. But when neighbors throw a very strange party, nothing is as it seems in their picturesque neighborhood. Okay, well, basically, there's a same-sex couple, uh, Malik and Aaron, played by Jeffrey Bauer Chapman and Ari Cohen. You'll recognize both their faces. Uh, they've been in a lot of movies and I think in some TV shows as well. Uh, and their daughter, Kayla, played by Jennifer uh, Laporte. Uh, they kind of move into this new town you know, to get out of the hustle and bustle of, the, of the, the city. Plus, this movie takes place, I believe it's in the 80s or the early 90s, where, you know, they're kind of in this, this time where same-sex couples aren't as accepted as they are now. I think that's fair to say. Um, but that's not what, you know, that has nothing to do with why I didn't like this movie at all. I could, I could care less if you're into guys, girls, circles. It matters not to me. I, I don't care. I just want to see a good movie. I just, but I just don't like this style of horror movie where, like I said, the one character solely has things happen to them and then everybody else around them doesn't see it until the fucking very end. And basically this movie is that Malik, when they move into this town, this, 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 you know, the, the, the town folk kind of, I don't know, they just do everything to Malik to make him look like the bad guy. So basically this whole movie is him trying to give, convince his husband, Aaron, you know, that he's not crazy and that this shit is happening. And it's, it just, it falls into this thing where, you know, there's, there's a scene where Malik comes home and they've, they've written stuff on the wall of their house, okay? So he doesn't leave it to show Aaron this, okay? He hides it, he paints over it and pretends it doesn't happen. And there's other scenes in this movie where, where kind of this stuff sort of happens, but I just, it's mind boggling to me. And I, I, again, I do not like this style of movie. Why hide this shit? I know you have to have a movie here, but it just, it doesn't work for me. <laughs> it drove me fucking nuts. You know, and then when, when the shit starts to hit the fan in the end of the second, you know, going into the third act, you know, Malik's trying to convince Aaron and, and Aaron's, you know, he just thinks he's, he's lost his fucking mind. But if he would have shown him these other things early on, none of this would have fucking happened and Aaron would have been on the same side and they could have got the fuck out of Dodge. But again, I understand we have to have a movie and that's what this movie revolves around. Doesn't mean I have to like this style of movie because I don't. But the ending, again, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but I, I loved the fucking ending of this movie because there's so much mystery now surrounding this town and, and what the fuck is going on here and what these town folks are. And I, I just wanted more of it. I, I wish we could have, you know, dove into a little bit more of that, but I understand it's all towards the lead up. So yeah, I, I'm going to stop there. Okay. <laughs> this is probably the vaguest fucking review, but honestly, guys, this is a movie 
definitely watch it. Okay, it is it is good. I'm gonna give it like a for a rating. I'm gonna give it a six and a half, which is great for me because again, I don't like this style of movie. But the ending from I just wanted more of the fucking ending. I just want to know what the fuck is going on there. I, I, I just want more of that and, and to dive in. So maybe they'll make a sequel. Who knows? And they, they'll get more into that. And I hope they do. So, but anyways, six, six and a half for me. I'm going to recommend you watch this one, please. If you've seen it, I, I, I really want to know what you guys thought of this movie. Okay, the, the story behind it. Do you like this style of movie? Because, well, I mean, you already know I don't. But I just, you know, I, I bought into it. And, it, it you know, the payoff at the end was you know, made it a pass for me. But what do you guys think of it? If you saw it and if you haven't seen it, please go rent it. It really does deserve to be watched. The acting is phenomenal. Um, the story, you know, it's got a good story. Just didn't appreciate the way, you know, it's put in front, but that's just me. But anyways, if you've seen it, please let me know what you guys think. If you haven't seen it, go rent it. Come back and let me know what you think, guys. And uh, yeah, until next time, stay scared.